minister Dademo Khotu. So we as South Africa were very pleased that the very first visit overseas was to come to South Africa and uh, visit us. And that is why even during the time of COVID-19, we were delighted to receive them and to be given an update of the developments in Lesotho, both on the COVID-19 side, as well as the political developments. And we were delighted to hear that stability has returned to Lesotho and that there is a, a renewed commitment to embark on the reforms that uh, we as South Africa have been a facilitator in and the process which was also bolstered by the participation of former Deputy Chief Justice Moseneke and also a process that was also uh, assisted by uh, former Minister Jeff Hadebe. We were delighted to hear uh, the assurances of a total commitment from Prime Minister Majoro that Lesotho is going to move forward in a determined way with the reforms that uh, SADC has uh, asked them to embark on. So on our side, we are delighted, and this visit also marks a very important uh, milestone of the beginning of uh, the process of improving relations and deepening relations between South Africa and Lesotho at all levels, levels that touch on the movement of people between South Africa and Lesotho and how we should find ways of supporting each country's economies, particularly in relation to post-COVID-19 and also deal with issues of cross-border crimes, issues of human trafficking. So we are going to be getting our ministers to begin the process of dealing with all these matters to prepare for a more formalized meeting between our two countries or two governments. So our ministers will settle down and uh, deal with the important issues uh, that are germane between the two countries. Mona South Africa, Amohela, South Africa South Africa Lesotho and South Africa have a unique geographical situation with Lesotho fully uh, beating as a heart inside uh, South Africa. Uh, it isn't always a healthy heart and uh, we can see blood running to the face of South Africa whenever we uh, we have issues. But uh, uppermost uh, in our uh, minds is that the relationships, the relationship between the Sudan and South Africa must at all times be a warm one. 
in our national vision, one of the uh, uh, constructs of our national vision is a good relationship with our neighbors. It was therefore important and critical on our part to move quickly to pay a visit to the President, the President Ramaphosa, to begin our work on improving our relations. You can appreciate the importance of this. It, is within, it takes place within the context of a, a rampant, rampant COVID-19 in our areas, but it was important to do so uh, at this point in time. We have discussed a number of, of areas, but more importantly, uh, cooperation on COVID and COVID-related uh, issues, including not just the, uh, the medical, clinical uh, side, but also the impact of the mitigation. We have uh, critical issues across the borders. While we have uh, official borders, our people don't always recognize those, and so they cross at, at, at any place that they wish they want to cross. And this has a bearing on uh, our ability to control infections in both sites. We need to deal with that. There are many issues uh, uh, touching on uh, trade between the two countries, uh, a movement of uh, labor between the uh, countries that need to be uh, addressed. And uh, I'm very happy that uh, Mr. President has agreed that we deploy our ministers as quickly as possible to engage on these issues uh, so that they can be resolved for the benefit of, of our uh, people. I, uh, as a new Prime Minister, I must share with you that the people of Lesotho uh, have welcomed our government with open hands and in the two years they would like us to focus as much as possible on, on services to them and to stop quibbling. So it is quite critical that we move quickly to set up a stable government and I want to call on everybody in Lesotho to that. South Africa is here to support us but uh, we must act first and ensure that we have a stable political system uh, in Lesotho. That is a seven-year investment by President Ramaphosa himself as the facilitator and also by Deputy Justice Nseneke and Ndate Khatebe, of which you all uh, know about. Uh, as Mr. President has already indicated, there are uh, hundreds of issues that need to be dealt with, and that impinges and rests on uh, uh, first and foremost dealing with uh, our relationship and improving our relationship. Uh, South Africa Hubani try to yena iwot laka maslako ho ohle a media ya rona ka hona ene le bohloka hore ke tle re tlo bua le yena ka nete ke batla re tisetsa basotho ho re ntho tse go di buileng di kenyeletsa e ho ntlafatsa dikamano empa e ka tsebetso ya ntatera maphosa o se a likile hore a bokeletse thepa e hlokahalang tantsonya coronavirus o boetse ka o kgetha di committee tsa batho ba go hlale ba ipabotseng le fatshe le na lohle o boetse o sebetse ka matla go fumanela continent ya rona ya Africa di chalete 
mme ka nete se no se thabetse ga golo go bane ntle be o re getla gona go fumana di chalta tse ka re thusa empa ga tla boetse re gona o re ka thepa ya o lwantsa ka kwana hlopena ka mogwa o o batlang ya ka ditjeho tse tlase ha go le mme ka hona ka nyetse ntate ke ke o le wa ha go lo ke le bua ka mehelo ya hoe e e mo futi ke a o tisetsa go tlwa tsa hona jo le tsena hore ka nete re tla sebetsang Thank you, Ntakwana Eyewitness News. President, uh, you and Prime Minister have outlined very succinctly the problem that lies in terms of immigration between the two countries. And I think as just an ordinary individual, um, from my perspective, the thing that will make, uh, or at least that will solve the problem, is a situation where a person holding a Lesotho passport can walk into South Africa and get a job because South Africa has confidence that that person is duly registered in the Lesotho Population Register and vice versa. In the past month alone, we've seen 70 South Africans being repatriated from Lesotho. We've seen 90 Lesotho being repatriated from South Africa into Lesotho. That means that there is movement both ways that's required between the two countries by the peoples of the two countries. So what is stopping the two countries from making this a normality? A situation where a South African holding a passport can walk into Lesotho and go and get a job? or a Lesotho who's holding a Lesotho passport can go into South Africa and get a job. Prime Minister, for Lesotho or for your party in Lesotho, there is a likelihood uh, because we've seen the upheavals within the party itself. There's a likelihood already that there's movement towards a conference or some kind of a leadership battle that is looming inside the party. Is that a likelihood that will throw Lesotho into a tailspin again, or are you ensuring that that doesn't happen? Thank you. Thank you. Sidi Madia from News 24. Um, I think it's for the Prime Minister mostly. You spoke about the movement of South Africans and Lesotho people with using illegal borders, legal border areas. What are the concerns around that? Because what we understand this side is that the mining sector, you're seeing a rise in COVID-19 cases. We know that Basotho do work in South African mines. Are you not concerned about how this can be kept urgently? Because a lot of mines, from what I hear, are sending people back when they're ill. Um, what are the plans around trying to combat more people going back home with cases of infections? Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, well, thank you very much. Let me start off with the uh, post-COVID-19 economic uh, issues. I mean, clearly COVID-19 is having quite a negative impact on many economies around the world, and we are also going to be adversely affected, both Lesotho and South Africa, and already world bodies like the World Bank is saying that the economies of the two countries are going to contract uh, quite substantially and we, it therefore calls on us to come up with a clear vision, clear strategies of how we are going to address our badly affected economies and in our case which we, we want to share with uh, Lesotho we will have to look at how we revive the economy of South Africa post-COVID-19, how we are going to deal with the issue of uh, unemployment, because COVID-19 is going to wreak havoc when it comes to many people losing jobs. We need to come up with clear plans, clear strategies 
of how we are going to forestall this and address this. And uh, we've also talked about uh, the restructuring of the economic landscape. Uh, COVID-19 is going to have to result in a reset of our economic uh, landscape and we need to find clear ways and plans. What we did say to the Prime Minister is that as South Africa does so, and indeed as Lesotho does so, we need to share our plans. But what will need to underpin that planning process is uh, ensuring that we deepen economic integration between Lesotho and South Africa much more. That uh, the two economies must uh, begin the process of uh, acceding to greater levels of growth and that is what we will seek to share uh, with uh, uh, Lesotho and indeed with the Prime Minister and our Ministers uh, are going to be looking at precisely some of these issues. On the issue of the movement of people, uh, clearly we have seen how on both sides we have uh, had people repatriated and it's not only been on the South African side, it's also been on the Lesotho side. What it means in the end is that, uh, and our ministers are going to deal with this, we need to address the issue of the movement of people between the two countries and uh, make sure that we, we, we ease that, we enable uh, not only goods and services to move, but also people to move with greater ease. And on the economic side, the Africa Free Trade Area Agreement is going to enable that process to happen more for goods and services. And uh, on the SADC side, we want to see that integration of the two economies. On the people side, South Africa and Lesotho need to come up with a, a better way, a better way of enabling. Uh, people to move between the two countries without too many strictures. Strictures that lead to time being lost, that lead to uh, people having to be repatriated, uh, and we need to recognize that our two countries are intricately linked, and the linkages of the two countries must enable uh, freer movement uh, of people between the two countries, people who are documented, who will be able to demonstrate that I live in Lesotho, I work in South Africa, I live in South Africa, and I work in Lesotho uh, with the proper permitting processes uh, that, that uh, should underpin that. I don't think that is uh, far-fetched, and I think it is something that we will look forward uh, to enabling. And if we can get the movement of people between the two countries to work better, that behoves well for the economic integration between our two countries. On, on the question about um, the uh, justice and, uh, and our plans, the, obviously Lesotho is a, is a country that has been ailing for a while. Our uh, coalition with uh, Deputy Prime Minister Mohotu brings in the Lesotho's largest party and the second largest party, which is something that many experts have been calling for, for the purpose of achieve, achieving political stability in Lesotho. So, but it took from 2012 to now to be able for, uh, to do this. So our hope and our intentions in negotiating a new coalition was uh, let us stabilize, let's come together and seek to stabilize uh, Lesotho's coalition governments, which have been fractious since uh, 2012. And Mr. President knows this very much since, because he's been with us since uh, 2013 trying, trying to help us. So um, justice, of course, is the foundation of peace and stability. At the same time, one doesn't uh, move carelessly in this process because uh, the pursuit of certain objectives without consideration of uh, the consequences of doing that uh, often uh, may take out of play the very uh, configuration or government configuration that was intended. 
to uh, uh, assure stability. So we are looking at these things we are discussing with, with our coalition partners. We are discussing yeah, even opposition parties on how we should proceed and proceed uh, judiciously and carefully. Uh, Mr. President has already dealt with the uh, issue of movement of, of, of the people. What we have agreed essentially is uh, let us deal with all the cross-border issues uh, in a cooperative and in good faith and begin to deal with these long-standing uh, issues around our, our borders. So we have agreed to deploy our ministers to uh, begin to address these issues and to bring proposals to us. So the importance of uh, my visit uh, has been to uh, reach an agreement on how we should proceed on all these issues that have been niggling both countries for so many, for so many, uh, for so many years. Uh, on so obviously, this will deal with issues also of, of labour between the two countries, including of Basudu Stark and Lesotho. I wanted to come in, in, into minds and uh, what does that mean? Does that mean uh, high exposures to uh, uh, infections? But perhaps, but this should be dealt with in, in an environment of uh, expertise, and whatever decisions we take should be taken with uh, stifling the spread of coronavirus in, in mind. Uh, I am happy that we are now agreeing to, to talk more and collaborate on taking decisions that impact both uh, both uh, both countries. Now, on the um, on the stability within my own party, ABC, of course, that is that is new. ABC thrives on uh, that kind of uh, instability. But what um, what is new now is the hope that Basutu have openly uh, given to this new coalition, and the message to my party that it is in your unity that you are likely to deliver services that Basuta have been denied for so many years. So the message to my party is uh, let's proceed carefully and gradually begin to uh, deal with our issues in a rather quiet and productive manner. And I think we will ultimately achieve that. Yes, there, there is, uh, you, you, may, you use the word upheaval. I'm not sure that this is the right word. Uh, I can assure you that I'm talking with, with, with uh, members of my party. It is in uh, achieving stability in the ABC that will then achieve stability for the rest of the, uh, of the Sudan. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you.